guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Monday and happy Magic Mail Monday. I do have a stack of Disney Magic Mail from my P.O. box that I'm going to open today for you. I do wanna tell you that I'm gonna to try to keep this video a little bit short because my computer keeps crashing. My computer is seriously on the fritz. I don't know if it's mercury in retrograde or like what the heck is going on, but long story short is I need a new computer and I've got it kind of haphazardly fixed up right now so that I can mostly do what I need to do in terms of YouTube, but I'm afraid if I make a really big video file and try to edit it that the whole thing is just gonna crash again. So might be slightly short depending on how much I talk. Um, so we'll see how long this Magic Mail Monday ends up being. I just wanna keep the file kind of short. But I do have some magical Disney mail from you guys that I'd like to open today and I I also want to make sure to announce the winner of my 20,000 subscriber giveaway and I will do that at the very end of this video. So without further ado, let's jump into this week's magic mail. The first package I have is from Lisa in Florida, Lisa in Boca Raton, Florida. So hello Lisa, thanks for sending me some magic mail. I wish I was back in Florida. Spring is on the way here in Minnesota, but we're not quite there yet. Like there's still a lot of snow, we're kind of in like the mid 40s in terms of our temperature. It's supposed to warm up quite a bit next week, but right now I'm really missing um, warm weather. There is a card from Lisa. Ooh, it's this beautiful um, Simba from the Lion King card. Let me open this up. Oh my gosh, Lisa, your handwriting is incredibly neat and tiny. Um, and she's also put this really gorgeous um, Jasmine and Raja sticker on the inside. I keep thinking, this is a side note, I keep thinking that I want to collect Raja pins, like Raja the Tiger from um, from Aladdin. I don't need another side pin collection, but oh, I just like love Raja and um, Jasmine together. I'm obsessed. Okay, it says, hello, Becca. Thank you for sharing your Disney obsession and all of your adventures with everyone. I really enjoy watching all the pin unboxings. My pin collection goes back to about 2005. That's crazy. And then she's written a few more personal things. And at the end it says, thank you again for sharing your life with us. And thanks for always having such a positive attitude from Lisa. Thanks so much, Lisa. I appreciate your um, your sweet card. I, I love this and I love the Simba. And let's see what's in here. I think she said in her card that it's actually a necklace. So it's all wrapped up in tissue. Let's take a look. Oh my gosh, I think it's a Snow White and the Seven Dwarves necklace. I've never seen this before. I've seen a lot of merch, you guys. So when I see things that um, I've never seen before, I get really excited. Here it comes. Oh yeah, this is Snow White and the Dwarves and I think they're all kind of like marching together or like silhouetted together. It's kind of a cool um, shape. Let me get close to my camera. Can you see it? Oh my gosh, such a cool necklace. So you've got snow and then you've got all the dwarves and I don't know uh, which order they're in. All I know is that this must be sleepy because he's laying down and then I think that's dopey at the end. I'll have to take a closer look at it when I'm not filming. That's beautiful. I can't wait to wear this actually. I wish I would have had this for my um my Snow White dinner that I went to in Disney World. I love this necklace, Lisa. Thank you so much for thinking of me. That was so thoughtful. And um, I also really appreciate your sweet note. So hugs to you and kisses in uh, Boca. And maybe our paths will cross uh, in the park someday. Next I have this cute mailer. This is from M, initial M in North Carolina. I think this person has sent me mail before M in North Carolina. Let me get this opened up. No clue what's in here, but it looks kind of exciting. North Carolina also sounds pretty good right now, not gonna lie. Just anything south and warm. Ooh, oh, I see something Tinkerbell. Let me get the note first, but I'm seeing Tinkerbell and I'm already excited. Please read before filming. Uh-oh, I failed. Please read before filming. Right, okay, this is from Malia. Yes, Malia has sent me mail before, and hi, Malia. And I see that your note is personal in nature, so I will read it off camera, and thank you. And let me show you what Malia sent to me. I'm pretty stoked about this because I'm on my big Tinkerbell kick right now. This is my to-read pile back here. Um, this is a 3D Tinkerbell crystal puzzle. I've never done one of these before, but I like puzzles a lot. I'm not very good at them, but I really do enjoy putting puzzles together and I'm totally like obsessed with Tink. So let me give you a quick close up of this. So apparently this is the original 3D crystal puzzle and it's um, Tinkerbell. And I think that you put her together and she makes like a little figurine, like a little statue like that. And I'm just looking at the back and it looks like they have these nifty puzzles for a lot of characters. I see Pluto and Pooh and um, I think I see Daisy Duck and Bambi, all kinds of cool characters. 
characters. This is awesome. I can't wait to put this together and I don't have very many Tinkerbell things since my obsession with her is, is relatively new. It's kind of a 2019 thing for me. So thank you so much. I can't wait to dig into this. And Malia, I will take a closer look at your handwritten note um, when I'm done filming and I appreciate the uh, the uh, thoughtfulness of your words. I was just taking a look and it's, um, it's very thoughtful and it's also personal so it's an off-camera thing but thank you for the magic mail. Thank you for the tank puzzle and thank you for your lovely letter. The next package I have is shiny and blue and blue is my favorite color and I like shiny things um, so I'm excited about this one. This is from Rachel in Ohio. Rachel from Hamilton, Ohio. Rachel in Hamilton. Na, 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 na. Okay, <laughs> big musical theater nerd. Okay, Rachel from Hamilton, Ohio. Let's take a look. I slipped it open, but I haven't actually like looked at anything inside. So first I'm seeing um, a manila envelope. I think this is the note. It says Becca, Disney Kitty. That's me. Ooh, and I think this card is handmade. It's got um, a very floral Mickey Mouse head on it. It's very flower and garden festival. And then I love the, the back of this too, like really pretty. Um, We've got some gorgeous like washi tape and some cool almost looks like a little like necklace or mirror or something on the back it's really really neat so thank you for the handmade card i love handmade things I, i'm terrible at arts and crafts um so i'm always excited when people send me handmade things because i couldn't do that myself okay it says hi becca my name's rachel and i'm thrilled to be a new subscriber rachel thanks for finding my channel i'm always so curious how people find me i don't really understand how youtube works honestly that well but i'm always excited when new people find me you're actually the one who inspired me to start collecting pins in just a short amount of time since I've started watching your videos, I've managed to establish a pretty strong collection. Oh boy, it's a deep rabbit hole, girl. You gotta look out. You gotta be careful with that strong pin collection game. She goes on to say, I love watching you unbox everything and wanted to send a little magic mail to add to your collection. She was browsing every Disney Etsy shop she could find and she came across two fantasy pins. Oh, I'm so excited. Wow, thank you so much for the really sweet card and there's some other nice things in here and um, I'll try to find you on your Instagram girl thank you and then here is the package within her package oh I love this so it's all tied up in like a brown paper bag and it says brown paper packages tied up with strings these are a few of my favorite things and it's a little brown parcel tied with a string I love it I love a sound of music reference I love a Julie Andrews reference it's just making me so happy so thank you it's making me smile this isn't unusual you guys but I am highly caffeinated right now I've had like my peak caffeine caffeine for the day and I'm just like I'm I'm flying on caffeine right now so oh my gosh okay and then inside we have two beautifully bubble wrapped uh, fantasy pins I think so let me open these up fantasy pins are another deep rabbit hole that you gotta be careful because you know when you exhaust all of the official Disney pins then there's this whole world of like incredible designers and makers of like fan fan pins, fantasy pins, and you can just go on and on and on. It just goes on forever and ever and ever. What do we have here? Oh, what? Okay. This first fantasy pin is a porg dressed up as Tigger. It's a porg, okay? Like from Star Wars, like they look like my cat, and it's dressed up as Tigger from Winnie the Pooh. This is amazing. Okay, I gotta get this out. So there he is. It's a little Star Wars porg, and he's in a Tigger costume. That is too much. It's nice. It's got two pin posts and everything. I also love the backer card. It's like metallic and sparkly. And then here's a look at the shop. See ya ears soon. Etsy.com. Um, and I'll, like I said, I'll link to it down below in case you want to go hunt down some more porg pins. I do love porgs. I do think they are hilarious. I love that. Let's take a look at this uh, second pin. I wonder if this one is also a porg. We'll find out. Let's see. Oh, I don't think this is a porg. This one says, I think you'll really enjoy the other designs from this shop as well. Oh, this is from Toon Baboon. Toon Baboon on, on Etsy. I've seen Toon Baboon before. I've never purchased a pin from them, but um, oh my gosh, what? Okay, I believe we have a Disney kitty as Belle. I think it's Marie as Belle, or a kitty cat as Belle. It's a, it's a cat princess mashup. 
And seriously, I do truly love this. I do think it's supposed to be Marie as Belle from Beauty and the Beast. So she's got her brown hair and her blue bow instead of the traditional pink Marie bow and she's reading a book. And there's the Enchanted Rose. Yeah, I think that's supposed to be Marie as Belle. That's incredible. I love when people do creative mashups. And that's what's awesome about fantasy pins is Disney would never do something like this for the most part. Um, but fans create stuff like this, and then if you're like super nerdy and you want to see what would happen if Belle and Marie had a baby, you can see that. This pin is perfect for me, Rachel. Thank you so much. And I will link to Toon Baboon um, on Etsy, and I think I follow them maybe on Instagram down in the description box so I can maybe find some more cat mashups. And if you're watching this and you're intrigued by the mashup, you should uh, check them out as well. Thank you again, Rachel. That was awesome. You are very thoughtful and and uh, I want to give you a big hug in Hamilton, Ohio. Hamilton, Ohio. Na 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 na. Okay, this here I think is the last package I'm going to open today. I have two letters that I'll get to after this, but I think this is the last like parcel I'm going to open. And this is from Alicia or Alicia in California. So hello to Alicia or Alicia in California. There's kind of feels like there's a lot of stuff in this box. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this one. I think I've had this one in my stash for a while. So sorry for the delay in opening it. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Um, I think this is the note. Look at how cute Mickey Mouse postcard note is. Hello, Becca. I have always wanted to send you magic mail, but I couldn't decide on Harry Potter or Disney for a theme. So I ended up doing both. I love it. I love you. Thank you, Alicia. Harry Potter and Disney could not get better. Hope you enjoy these little goodies. I adore your channel so much. Well, thank you. I really appreciate you sending me this. And I'm looking in this box and I see that there's one envelope that says Harry Potter and one envelope that says Disney. Ah, that just speaks to my heart, both sides of my heart. So yes, this is so much fun. We've got the Harry Potter theme and we have the Disney theme. Oops, something just fell out. I gotta get it. Let's start with the Disney theme. I see that there's um, these stickers of Anna on the front. I love Anna from Frozen and I can't wait for Frozen 2. Did you all watch the Frozen 2 trailer? I'm so intrigued by it. Leave a comment down below if you are excited for the Frozen sequel. I'm like kind of ridiculously excited for it. And let me pull out some, ooh, we've got all these Beauty and the Beast Belle stickers i love this oh my gosh Ooh, i think it's like beauty and the beast land in here i'm so excited okay let me get this stuff out these are all just too pretty not to show up close we've got Belle in her cape we've got oh my favorite scene when they're out throwing snowballs and feeding the birds together we've got bell with uh the human version of the beast which i don't prefer how he looks there but oh well and then we've got bell in her blue dress uh and then we've got bell in her yellow dress with chip these are gorgeous i don't think i've seen these ones before but thank you and then from the disney parcel i see two little figures i wonder if these are funko or where these came from but i think one's bell and one is actually anna from Frozen, and I have almost no Anna anything. I have like a handful of Anna pins, and that's pretty much all I have, but I flip and love Anna. You don't even understand. Um, but let me show you Belle and, oh, I love her. Belle and Anna, here they come. So here is beautiful Belle in her ball gown with her uh, fancy hairdo. And then here is Anna, and she just looks so cute with her braids. I, I like Anna partially because I like to wear my hair like this, and she's just kind of spunky and uh, awkward, and she reminds me of me. So I love uh, two of my favorite princesses. I love these. Thank you. And now let's see what's in the Harry Potter-themed envelope. Maybe it's my letter to Hogwarts. I've been waiting on my Hogwarts letter for... A couple decades now. <laughs> um, let's take a look and see. Oh, I think there's a note in here. Look at this card with his glasses and the scar. Did she write something? Oh yeah. I know you have a few Funko Pops and I wanted to add more to your collection. Thank you. I'm not sure if you have any of these mystery box minis yet. I didn't have a Disney kitty to give you, so I gave you a Harry Potter one. Mrs. Norris, awesome. Oh, I'm so excited to see the Funko figures in here. I do have a, a small collection of Funko Pops. I don't have a lot of the mystery ones. I usually just get like the big ones, um, but I'm so excited now. Holy moly, there's a whole bunch in here. Girl, this is, this is like too much. Okay, here we go. Let's take a look. Oh my heavens, okay. 
There's, there's some awesome ones. I'm pulling these out of the bubble wrap and I didn't even know that half of these existed. I'm so excited about all these characters. So let me show you uh, who we've got. First up we have Harry Potter and he's in his um, Quidditch robes, which I love and look at his cute glasses. I, I never like know where people get these mystery boxes, but I gotta get some. These are awesome. And then next up, we definitely have a Weasley uh, in the sorting hat. And I was going to say it's Ron, but I think the hair maybe is a little bit longer. And maybe it's meant to be Ginny Weasley under the sorting hat. Because I, I'm looking at the other pops, and I think they are from, like, later in the series. So this would be very young if it was Ron. So maybe this is actually Ginny Weasley in the sorting hat. I had no idea that any figures existed of this character. This is Fleur Delacour from um, the the French, what's it, Beau, Beau Batten's school? I say it wrong probably, but um, she looks adorable with her little uh, yellow ponytail. Very cute, I love Fleur. She reminds me so much of Fleur de Force, the YouTuber. Does anyone on here watch Fleur de Force? She's one of my all-time favorite YouTubers. Leave a comment down below if you watch Fleur on YouTube. And then we have Victor Crumb in his little hat. I love these. I guess these are from um, uh, book four, The Goblet of Fire. So that's why I thought maybe that sorting hat one was um, was Ginny. Okay, now which one is this? Is this Cedric Diggory? I, I Sometimes I can't tell when they're in their like small Funko Pop form. I'm guessing it's Cedric, but I could be wrong. Sometimes I'm wrong. Leave a comment down below if I'm wrong, but I think this one's Cedric. And then we of course have Snape. Snape is very recognizable um, by the hair. And then finally we have Mr. Filch's cat, Mrs. Norris. I had no idea there was a figure of her either. She's like a very sort of side character animal in the Harry Potter series, but I love that Mrs. Norris has her own figure and I will treasure this one especially. That was such a fun and delightful package to go through and thank you so much for all the cool Harry Potter stuff. I know people know that I like Harry Potter but people don't send me Harry Potter things that often and I'm sorry if I butchered any of the characters. I'm pretty sure I got them right but you know there's a lot of characters and they go through a lot of like phases and then sometimes you don't know like at what point in the series is the figure from and then you know my brain just gets confused because there's a lot to keep track of between the Harry Potter world and the Disney world. Anyway thank you so much Alicia or Alicia for the incredible Disney and Harry Potter package and uh, hugs to you out in California. That is another place that I wish I was right now. That is it today for packages. I do have two letters that I'm going to open on camera really quickly and then I'm going to wrap this video up because I'm scared that my file is going to be too big and I'm going to crash my computer again. Um, after I look at these letters, I will let you know the winner of my 20,000 subscriber giveaway and then we'll be on our way into a, a beautiful week in, in March, the first week of spring, I think. I think spring starts this week officially. Okay, so this letter right here is from Shelby in Kentucky. Shelby in Kentucky, and there's a little Zootopia sticker on the back that's really sweet. Oh, how cute there is a Zootopia uh, Valentine in here, and it says BBF. I'm pretty sure that stands for Bunny Best Friend. It says Happy Valentine's Day, Disney Kitty from Shelby. Thank you, I love getting a Valentine. It says, hey Becca, oh my God, you are a celebrity in the Disney YouTube community. What? I don't think I would go that far, but but that's a nice thing to say. I'm super jealous of your lifestyle. Okay, let me pause right now and just say, it's very easy to look at someone on the internet and kind of like the highlight reel of their life and all of the fun things that are going on and see someone like me opening magic mail from you and think like, oh my gosh, their lifestyle is perfect. Let me tell you, my lifestyle, like, I'm, I'm very fortunate, but my life is not perfect, and I'm a hot mess most of the time. So before you get too jealous, just I want you to know, I'm a person and I poop and pee and have drama, just like everyone else. Okay, moving on. Um, I enjoy watching your videos. Your collection of pins is to die for. That's so sweet. I watched one of your videos, the 100th video Q&A, and that changed my life. Oh my gosh, that's actually one of my favorite videos I've ever made. If you haven't watched my 100 video Q&A, um, I'll link it down below. That's actually, um, I think, one of my most favorite, like most honest and raw videos I've ever made. So I'm gonna link that. I'm really glad you watched that, by the way, Shelby, thank you. She says she started her own channel, congratulations. Shelby says she is from a very small town in Kentucky and Disney for adults is considered childish. So I watched your videos and I'm glad that I'm not alone. 
That is so sweet. Thank you so much for the lovely letter. It's got some little kitty stationery here. Shelby, I'll have to look for your YouTube channel. I'm going to look under your name, but if it's a different name, leave me a message. Let me know so I can come find your YouTube channel. And congratulations. And thank you for the Valentine and for the sweet words. It means a ton. So big hugs to you and, and good luck with your channel in Kentucky. All right, I have one more letter and this is from a familiar face. This is from Christy of the channel Christy's Corner. Christy's really sweet. She sends me cards and letters from time to time and, um, and she does have a Disney themed YouTube channel. I will link to Christy's Corner down below. Just open this up. The card says greetings and salutations. Really cool card. And she says, Becca, it's time for another card. Congratulations on 20K. It's because you are genuine, enthusiastic, and relatable, and an all-around wonderful person. Thank you so much. What a nice thing to say. Um, I'm happy I found your channel too, Christy, and I will link you down below, and I gotta stop by and watch a few of your videos. I'm super behind on watching friends' videos. But thank you so much for the sweet card and um, the congrats on 20K. It means a lot. And, um, and to be honest, I never thought ever when I started my channel that I would ever hit 20,000 subscribers. So I'm very excited, but also just really humble and grateful and um, and surprised. So thanks, Christy. Mwah. Love you. And that does it for today's magic mail. Before I hang this up, I want to let you know that the winner of my 20,000 subscriber giveaway is Brittany Birch. Brittany Birch. So Brittany, if you're watching this, please send me an email at the uh, email address in my description box and send me your address and I will send your prize package out to you and congratulations. I also want to say once again thank you to everyone who entered and to everyone who has supported my channel over the last little little under two years. It's been a really fun journey and I appreciate all of the fun friendships that I've made and all of the fun like people I've been able to connect with and just it's been it's been a trip but it's been a pretty good one. Also if you didn't win my giveaway I'm sorry but don't go too far because I'm Definitely planning another one for the very near future, so you can stay tuned for that. And that is all I want to say for today's Magic Mail Monday. I'm going to go and edit this now. Cross your fingers that my computer doesn't crash and I don't lose this whole video and that this actually gets uploaded tomorrow, which is Monday, which is today if you're watching this. You know what I'm trying to say. And also leave a comment down below and let me know something positive about your Monday or one thing that you are looking forward to this week. Let's keep uh, the good vibes happening. Uh, on Monday, every single Monday on this channel. I have a lot of Disney vlogs for you from my most recent trip, so those will be coming up. I've got a pin unboxing with Ryan coming up. I've got a lot of good videos coming up, so stay tuned, and until next time, have a magical day, have a magical week, and I'll see you real soon. Bye, guys. Mwah.